everyone and welcome back to Shelter 2. And we are here with Garnet and her kittens who are quickly getting older. Uh, let's see if we can head over there and maybe shake that nest out of that tree and then we'll see if we can find some more, uh, some more food. So, and I also do want to apologize a little bit, um, if the audio is weird in this video. I haven't been recording because it's so hot, but yesterday I tried something that will let me, uh, run my air conditioner and record. And it seems like it's working, but uh, I haven't tested it all that much, so I do apologize if we run into anything unexpected that uh, could cause the audio to go just a little bit wonky. Didn't we? No, we headed back here for last time. I'm a little con was a little confused here for a sec, but uh, this is where we were supposed to be, I think. Um, and these guys should be growing up this time, and we'll have to. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Um, I'm gonna eat that, and then we'll um. We'll shake this tree, and then that should give some nice food to everybody else. Are you guys all gonna... Yeah, they're gonna go eat good. <laughs> uh, predictably, Heather is there first, but so far, so good. It seems like everybody's doing pretty well, and we just need to keep these guys uh, well-fed and uh, doing pretty well for a little bit longer because uh, it is almost time for them to grow up, and once they do, there is a bunny over here. Um... But once they grow up and they're almost to that point, there we go. All right, I think there was another bunny. Yeah, I saw some more go that way. But uh, in any case, okay, I'm going to feed, let's see, Heather apparently is not hungry um, for once. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to feed these guys and then we'll give Rose and Heather some next time. Um, <laughs> for whatever reason, Heather is, uh, the one who usually ends up stealing prey from others, and so oftentimes it's a pretty safe bet to assume she's had food recently, because she does tend to grab it away from everyone else. Uh, she's definitely the dominant female of this litter. Now, let's see if we can catch a couple of these bunnies at least. Hopefully at, at least the one, but perhaps even more. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 there goes the other bunny. Okay. Um, oh, but it looks like actually this time, oh, Heather caught something. That's what's going on. Okay. Technically, you guys should probably, oh, Heather's going to try and come get some of this. And it looks like Aster finished up. So hopefully Briar will be the one to go. Nope. It was Aster again. Briar, we definitely need to get you some food, too, because you got distracted hunting. And a lot of you guys have pointed out that Briar also seems to be a little bit more dominant. Uh, but uh, I, think that is, I think that is true, too. It definitely seems like Heather and Briar are the ones who are a little bit more at the top of the pecking order, whereas Rose and Aster are a little bit more towards the bottom. And uh, so there we go. Um, I definitely do think that seems like it's the case. Now, there's more bunnies over here. If we can catch some of them, that'd be really, really good. We almost actually caught a third bunny somewhere in there, but we had a vole get caught in our mouth, I think it was, or something that actually prevented us from uh, being able to grab it. So, okay. Oh, they're running this way. That's not what I wanted to see. Okay. Are we going to be able to get a third? Uh, one more, maybe? Oh, we're running out of stamina. There we go. We got it. Barely. Okay. Let's see... I'm going to try and position them so that they're pretty close to the bunnies that we killed right over there. They're right next to each other, so that should be good. And then we should be able to eat this one and uh, gain back some more stamina so that we have more, more ability to run. Now, we don't need as much ability to run because we technically already have uh, quite a bit. So I'm just going to drop this right here. No, 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 no. That's mine. Nope. Okay, apparently you're eating it. I, I, I want it, actually. Uh, well, at least Rose got some of it, and we got quite a bit. I think we should be fine. Was- did you catch something? It almost looked like you caught something, but I'm not sure if you did or not. Let's see if we can, uh, maybe- oh, I think so. I heard someone crunching. <laughs> so, but we'll see if we can, uh, maybe catch- or get those, um, we'll get- make sure we get- the, uh, the skulls there so that we can collect them and kind of have a record. We certainly don't collect all the skulls, and in fact, we actually missed all the skulls from the previous season because of some technical troubles. So, there we go. Um, but even with that in mind, it is kind of nice to just have an idea of at least some of how many bunnies we, we've managed to take out. Okay, 
you guys seem more hungry. I'll let you guys eat first. Evidently, Aster wasn't all that hungry because she kind of just hung back there. But we should be able to see if we can catch this bunny here and give that to Aster and Briar. So right about now is when we want to run. All right, here we go. And if we can just track with it, there we go. I like the turning controls in this game. It actually makes it uh, pretty easy to track with the bunnies because not only can you turn with uh, the mouse itself, but you can make sharper turns by using the arrow keys. And uh, that really works out when you have to make those sharp turns to be able to catch the bunnies in this game. So it's very, very nice. And I, I feel like that's fitting of lynxes in general too. I mean, they just strike me as being very agile. If you've ever seen them hunting, they have to follow the bunnies and make those really sharp turns. I keep saying bunnies. <laughs> uh, it's technically rabbits, but um, yeah, they have to be able to follow them and, and make those really sharp turns. Oh, wait a minute. In autumn when the hills are yellow and red, the cubs are called to follow the path of solitude. So it's almost time for these guys to grow up and they'll be doing that quite soon. So we're just going to make sure we keep well away from uh, these woods here because that's where uh, that's where bad things happen. So we don't want anything to do with that nonsense. We're just going to stick around up here where everything should be nice and safe because basically the major threat that remains right now is fire. I just noticed there's a leaf collectible there. At some point too, we will have to try and get all of these collectibles. So... Um, these red ones are special collectibles, and we technically did find one last time, but we didn't actually get to keep it. So, at some point here, we'll probably try, maybe that's what we'll do, is we'll do a little bit of a collectible hunt after this, because a lot of you guys have wanted me to do that, and we really haven't done that too much. Now, I want to be careful not to overextend the the season. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe that'll be something we implement more next time. So right now in Shelter 2, we have four episodes pretty much every time for every litter. And that's, you know, it, it, it works like clockwork, basically. Uh, that's always the amount of time we need. Would you rather see us go through four litters instead of five? in one season and take an extra episode with each Lynx mom to kind of just run around before we head back to the den and see if we can get any of the collectibles. Would you like to see us do that? Or would you prefer that we keep it short? Maybe I'll put uh, maybe I'll put a poll in uh, the video cards if you guys would like that. Or you can just tell me in the comments <laughs> uh, what you would like to see in regards to that because uh, we could do that. We could go through it a little bit slower and spend a little more time with each Lynx mom and um, end up trying to uh, trying trying to kind of extend the e trying to extend each litter a little bit longer and see if we can actually go find some of those collectibles in whatever area we end up hanging out in. Okay, so I'm gonna give it to you two because you seem most hungry. You're the ones lingering right here, so you probably are pretty hungry. Although it looks like Rose is also getting fairly hungry, uh, so I'll probably need to get something for her soon too. Uh, but yeah, so that's an idea that we could do. Did somebody catch something? Oh, nice! Nice job! That was Briar who caught that. Oh, and Rose got to eat it. Perfect! That's exactly what I was hoping for. So yeah, that's definitely something we could do. If you guys don't mind us progressing a little bit slower and going through one less litter each time. This, uh, this season will get us to, uh, litter number 20, to generation 20. And so that'll be pretty cool to see, but we could start to slow it down just a little bit if you guys would like to see us take a bit of a more leisurely approach to things and try and go out of our way to find some of those collectibles. Uh, so just let me know what you guys think about that because I definitely want to spend some more time searching around for them because there's still so many left to find. Okay, wait a sec. There's, oh, there's Briar. Okay, I kind of lost Briar. Briar blends in during this season but I think it's actually becoming autumn. Now, it doesn't look quite as drastic as it does in the tundra, but I think it's about to start changing because we are getting pretty close to uh, time for these guys to go. Just got to keep them alive a little bit longer, and then they'll be finally ready to fend for themselves and able to do so. We'll be able to count this, uh, this litter as a success. 
So, Garnet's done pretty well for being a pretty shy and nervous mother at first. She's definitely really kind of come into her own here. She's gotten a lot stronger. I am going for that branch collectible, by the way. She's gotten a lot stronger. She's been able to overcome the odds. She took down, I think, a grand total of five predators, which may be a record. I don't actually know. You guys would have to go back and tell me if we've ever taken out more than five predators in one playthrough or if this is, in fact, a record here, because I'm pretty sure, I don't think we've ever, I don't think we've ever exceeded five, but uh, we may have had one other who had five at one point. So, oh, oh, you guys, this is it. This is it, I'm pretty sure. Look at it. Look at this. Um, the, the ground is changing. Their vocalizations are changing. We still have our stamina bar. But I'm pretty sure this is it. Look at this. Yep, it's definitely autumn. And they're letting us know that it is about time for them to head out. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's always so hard to say goodbye to them at the end. But each of them will get to go and live their own lives. So goodbye to Rose. Goodbye to Briar. Goodbye to Heather. And goodbye to Aster. Oh, goodbye, you guys. Goodbye. It looks like Briar maybe is sticking with Rose a little bit. That's really sweet if he's going to end up becoming pretty protective uh, of, of her there because she always was a little bit weaker and a little bit uh, more submissive and maybe was a little bit more the run to the litter. She never quite got as much food. Um, she just didn't quite have the same drive to fight for it. Is there a fire somewhere? It almost sounded like it. But... I don't know. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're heading off in different directions. So it looks like Rose headed off alone. It looks like Briar and Heather are actually sticking together. And Aster's also going alone. So that's kind of interesting. The two strongest of the litter are sticking together here. And um, so it's pretty It's pretty interesting to see. Did I call Briar a him? Briar is a her. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to last litter. Oh, and there you can just see Aster disappearing over that hill there. No, I'm used to last litter where, where the brown kitten was our male, but uh, this time it's technically all females, so <laughs> kind of messed it up a little bit there, but there they go. And I think, you know what, I think we will do a little bit of, of um, an exploration here. Maybe we'll run this way and kind of poke around just a little bit because I do want to see if we can find some more of these collectibles. Um, if we look at the collectible screen here, you can see we found, we still have 23 of these rocks here in the, just in this region. So the parentheses number is how many are in each area. We have 37 of this type of leaf, 26 of this other one. We found a few of them, but not more than half in any case. There's like 21 mushrooms left. We found all, we found half the feathers. We have two unique collectibles to find. And there's a lot of these sticks. And then this is, of course, the mountain-specific ones on this page here. And the mountain predators. So there's a lot left to find that we really haven't yet. And so I definitely think that um, we want to, to see if we can poke around and find a few more of those. I'm guessing a lot of them are probably in the woods. And uh, that would be why we haven't found them, because we don't normally go into the woods all that often. Uh, we tend to avoid them, especially with the, uh, the kittens. And when we go in here, this is why. Look how dense it is in here. It'd be so easy to lose kittens, and it would be so hard to find prey. I mean, if we sniff around, there's something over there that we can try and, and track down. But uh, it's very easy to lose it amidst all these leaves. There's bunnies, it looks like. So it'd be very easy to lose these guys among all the leaves here. And uh, so that's definitely... Oh, there's a pheasant too. We only really need one. And I think, are some of those mushrooms going to be a collectible? It's really pretty. I actually do like the look of the woods. They're just really hard to actually survive in. So that's kind of why we tend to avoid them. But I don't ever think I've been to the bounds of the map here. Uh, but we've got some mushrooms growing around the base of this tree. None of them look like they're collectible, though, at least from what I can tell. You guys will probably let me know if I just walked by a collectible. Oh, but there's one over there. I can see it shining, and there's actually a branch further back, too. So we can go ahead and at least get two more collectibles. That's a pheasant, too. We might be able to sneak up on this guy and maybe chase him off. Maybe? Maybe? Oh, can we get him? Oh, not if we run into a tree, we can't. Okay. 
Well, there's actually another mushroom here. There's a branch over here, and then we can kind of make our way back. So there's a lot of things we can find. There's still a lot we have to explore. This area actually isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, here comes the rain. That's why it's lagging. Um, but this is why we wanted to avoid the forest, because starting at about this time, and even a little bit before, because of course last, or not the, the time before last time we had a fire start during the end cutscene. Um, but it's actually not as bad here as I thought it was going to be. Um, the woods by the lake are definitely worse, but all of them are hard to survive in. Like, it, it's really difficult to be able to survive. Uh, but so this is the kind of thing we'd be doing if we decided to add one more episode to each of our playthroughs. Um, we'd be running around like this for an episode. Oh, here we go. Worn and weary, she hastens through the den, her home now vast and empty. So that's just letting us know that we can return, or that our next step is to return to the den. But if you guys want to see an episode of us kind of just wandering around and exploring a little bit more and uh, seeing what we can find out here, then we can definitely do that. You'll just have to let me know what you want to see. I'm going to go with whatever the majority of you guys would like to see because uh, I'm personally okay either way and I want to do what you guys feel makes it interesting. And so if you want to see us go poking around and looking for collectibles a little bit each time, then I would be all for that. But if not, then we'll continue to kind of see them as we, um, as we go, and maybe I'll try to snag a few things off camera or do some jump cuts off camera and then just show getting the special collectibles, because we did that last season, unfortunately it got overwritten, <laughs> uh, but we did that last season when we got the mammoth tusk that you guys uh, were telling me to go get in the tundra. And we could do something like that for the really special ones, or, or I could just wander around. It depends on how much of it you guys want to see. So that's really what I'm asking you here, is how much of this would you like to see? How much of it would you prefer that I do but don't actually show? Okay, here we go. Oh, we got one. Good. All right, I'm going to stop and eat. There's actually a surprising amount of prey back here. Uh, again, I never really come to the woods. I kind of avoid them. And so this is all very new to me. And it's actually a lot nicer than I realized it was back here. It's honestly not too bad. There's another collectible up here. Um, but again, this is us alone. It would be a lot harder to survive with kittens because, um, oh goodness, that lightning is startling. Uh, but it'd be a lot harder to survive with kittens just because they add kind of a new a new layer of difficulty to it all. And so it's definitely one of those things where I do tend to avoid these woods when we know we have kittens with us. So, oops, did we? Oh, we got something good. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll eat that up and then we'll grab that collectible. There we are. And oh, there's some bunnies running through here and it looks like they're gonna get a little stuck. All right, so we got two of them here. That would have been handy for when we actually had kittens. Oh, here we go. There's another collectible. I'm probably missing a lot of the ones on the wall. They're kind of hard to spot, but we got another rock. And eventually, at some point, I hope this legacy will go on long enough to collect for or for us to be able to collect all the collectibles. Uh, that'd be pretty amazing. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. That's probably sev several seasons out yet. Um, and we got all of our strength back. Is there anything more in these woods? I'm kind of just hugging the wall a little bit, but I think we'll probably head back and finish off this episode here because uh, it is getting close to that time. We just finished a little quicker than I expected us to this time, and so we had a little, a little time to kill here. Where are we even? So we're in the woods. There's like a clearing here that I didn't know was a thing. Wow, there's a lot of secrets back in this woods. I am 95% sure that I have never been here. In fact, I know I haven't been here before. This is new territory. Where are we even? Okay, so the den is up from here. I think the den is this way. Yeah, I can see the way out of here. So, it's pretty interesting. Oop, bunny. <laughs> oh, we got two of them again. My goodness. Man, Garnet is on a roll here. 
She really is. We'll go ahead and eat this one too, just so that we can, and just because we can. <laughs> um, but I think the den is this way. But yeah, I've never been back in this area before. I've just stayed to the edge of the woods and I haven't really gone into them at all because uh, it's so difficult to uh, actually find out what what you're doing and figure out where you're going when you're in there. Oh, you're in the open. That's not a good thing. Oh, man. Wow, that worked out. I didn't know you could actually jump to catch him like that, but it really did work out. Um, that actually was really good. We'll go ahead and grab that skull. And now that Garnet is nice and well fed, let's have her return to her den here and we'll finish off her story. So let me know if you'd like to see kind of just a whole epic episode each time dedicated to something like that. And if that's what you guys want to see, then we can definitely try and do that because uh, it's kind of fun to just wander around and see what's there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, make our way in here. And here we go. It's always kind of sad when the kittens leave because you know you're only ever going to see one of them again. But uh, we, we're free to imagine what the others may go and get off to. Oh, and there's Garnet. All by herself again. She honestly did a phenomenal job for starting out as a little bit weaker, a little bit sickly, a little bit nervous. She honestly did an incredible job. She took on a lot more than uh, most of our, our, our Lynx mothers and our, the few Lynx fathers we've had really even have. And uh, she did amazingly with that. So she really did good. Let's see, though, because here we go. It's time for her to follow the stars, to follow her instincts, and to find what the next chapter of her life may hold. There's a lot of stories on this end, or a lot of theories on this ending. You guys have tested it out and told me different things. Some of you guys were saying you tended to have the same color links as the previous parent. Some of you guys said that it was random. Some of you guys think that it is an ancestor. Some of you think it's it's maybe one of the kittens come back or a new mate. There's a lot of a lot of um a lot of possibilities, and honestly, I think it's intentionally ambiguous because it kind of lets you create your own story. And uh, indeed, what we do come up with tends to be different each time because sometimes it just makes more sense for it to be one or, or the other of those options. And um, it, it just varies from links to links. So we'll have to see who, uh, who Garnet may encounter here and uh, just who, who might end up being here and uh, if it'll be a new mate or a kitten or even perhaps an ancestor. Who is she going to find? Let's head back here and we'll find out. There we go. And here we go. Into the firefly field. There we go. It's so, I love the ambience in this game. It's just so beautiful, honestly. It really is. We're gonna make our way up this hill here and see who might uh, might appear from the bushes see who we might find let's keep going and we should be able to see him pretty soon oh right there i see him it looks like it looks like it's a white lynx wow okay Okay, so you guys will probably have some theories on this. It probably kind of depends. Uh, but it'll be up to you guys to decide who this is. Um, and I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about that. Is this a new mate? A sibling? A kitten? An ancestor? Who do you guys think it is that uh, Garnet has either met or reunited with here? What do you guys think? I'm always eager to hear what your, your take on this is. But in any case, this does mark the end of Garnet's story, and this is where we must bid her farewell, because her story is drawing to a close, but where one story ends, another one is going to begin. And you guys will now have the option to vote for which member of Garnet's family. They all survive, so you'll have four options. Uh, and you'll get to vote for which one of them you think we should follow into the next litter. We're actually, I think, more than halfway through the season now, and so it'll be kind of interesting to see uh, what the remainder holds, and then of course let me know what you do think about that idea of possibly starting to do some more exploration, kind of extending the time of each, uh, each segment of the playthrough. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that, but we're going to go ahead and leave these two alone to continue on with 
next chapter of Garnet's story, whatever that may end up being. And uh, don't forget to make sure you vote for which links we will be continuing the saga with. Um, and we'll be back for next week. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm probably going to run another heavy week next week. So we'll run four episodes in one week. And hopefully that will get us caught up now that I can actually record with my air conditioner on. Uh, so that should get us caught up to the schedule I was hoping to keep us with. And then uh, we'll have some more adventures that will continue on after this season of Shelter 2. So do not fear. We definitely have quite a bit more in store here, even uh, even as our Shelter 2 season does start to wind down. But I always do love at the end of this how it says uh, it has the thank you section here. But uh, at the end of this, it's going to do something a little bit special. If you guys sit through the credits with me, like some of you guys do, uh, you've probably heard me say this every time, but uh, or nearly every time. But it always has, at the end of this, it has a special thanks section, and it says to all mothers. And I just think that's really, really sweet because, honestly, moms are amazing. Um, I have so much to thank my own mother for, and uh, so I'm really, really grateful that the developers chose to include that because it is. It's really, it's really incredible. Moms, moms are amazing. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, I think, so don't forget to go vote. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.